Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. It is Rare Whiskey Friday. Rare Whiskey Friday. You want me to do it? It's been a while. Yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, Rare Whiskey Friday. <gasps> I forgot how to do it. <laughs> you, you took a break. Oh that was all it took. <laughs> We're going to go through momentum. and give first impressions on several different whiskeys. These aren't necessarily large brands. More often than not, or first of all, sometimes they are. Mm. More often than not, these are going to be your smaller craft distilleries without a lot of distribution. If you should be so lucky as to live in a place where you get your hands on these whiskeys, you're welcome for the review. And thank you, you might give some masters to send the whiskey. You know what this reminds me of? So I have a talent for short term memorization. And in high school, yeah. Uh, I got to school one day, and English class was my first class. I got to school 30 minutes early. You do have a talent, because we'll be doing like a scripted narrative bullshit episode. Mm -hmm. uh, we were like costumes. I wrote the script. Yeah. And I'm constantly going, line. Yeah. And Daniel, he'll like look at it. It's like, okay, I got this. Yeah. And then, like every time, perfectly delivering. Yeah. So uh, it doesn't last though. That's the problem. So uh, I got to school 30 minutes early. Right. It turns out I was there on the day. I, my friend was like, hey, did you memorize the introduction to the Canterbury Tales? Because we're supposed to recite it in class today. It's multiple pages. Ooh. And I was like, oh, sh**. I no. remember doing that. That was a prologue to the Canterbury Tales. Yeah, that was a horrible, horrible assignment. Yeah. So it turns out, I was like, oh, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> I got 30 minutes. And then I was like, wait a minute. You get extra credit if you recite it in Old English. <laughs> <laughs> this is just song and phonetic memorization. This is not knowledge, right? right. And so I... For 30 minutes, talked out loud. I walked into class. She was like, who wants to go first? I was like, me, yeah. I'm first. And the I stood up. I'm about to lose it. Yeah. I recited the whole thing. Yeah. Perfect score and extra credit by lunch. Yeah. One of my friends came to me and was like, dude, I heard you did the old English. And I was like, he's like, do it. And I was like, I got it. No, nope. Nope. I can't do it. I got no, I got no idea. I don't, know. I don't even know the first line anymore. And uh, yeah, so that's what happened with Dry Week. It's like you had it going, you yeah. had it going, yeah, yeah. you had it going. We took a break for a week. So you're like, damn it, it's gone. <laughs> okay, this is all a gift from people who, as of this episode, became patron saints John Rosenbaum and Carmen Keller. John Rosenbaum and Carmen Keller. You patron saints of whiskey. I'm trying your method. Your method's better. Okay. It is. You don't get to do a lot less effort. Yeah. Okay. So they really like Starlight. Star Huber Winery and Starlight Distillery. Yeah, we, 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 we do have, too. We have had, yes. Wait, I voted their bourbon as my favorite one of 2020 that I've had, the Sherry Cask bourbon. When did that happen? This is like, I just said it in one of the episodes. We tried it. I was like, this is by far the best bourbon I've had all year. See, that should be. It should be a big deal. I didn't say it. I mean, that's, that was my sentence. This is my favorite bourbon that I've had all year long. Yeah. And it's become a thing. We could I, do a whole I, episode I, I on it. I have a theory that you are allergic to content. No, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because? Yeah. Because, like, we'll be sitting down, we're about to be doing, like, an episode for the Whiskey Tribe channel. We're about to be doing a podcast for the Patreon. We'll sit down, and before the camera's going, before the mics are going, you'll sit down and you'll say something. A little, little anecdote, a little story. It's fucking phenomenal. It's top shelf. This is hilarious. <laughs> this is great. Nothing's recording. <laughs> no, it's not recording. What are you doing? <laughs> Save it. It's a gift. <laughs> it's a gift. And then we get rolling. It was like, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. I don't know. So let's get some questions, I guess. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to start with just their classic straight bourbon. Yeah. 114 proof. Yeah. I, I got to say that Starlight is crawling to the top of one of my favorite distilleries in the U.S. right now for American whiskey. Remind us where they're out of. So they're Huber Family Winery um, out of Indiana. They're family owned and farmed. Indiana. Wait a minute, since 1843? Yeah, yeah, so they're a farm. They did. A, they became a winery, This is Huber Family Wines, and then they started distilling. This is the water of life. They're immortal. <laughs> They've been doing it since 1843. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Same guy too. Was it the Fountain of Youth? Yeah. Same guy has been doing it the whole time. Yeah, Fountain of Youth has been uh, discovered in Indiana. He just turned old enough to drink last year. <laughs> Son of a bitch, if these guys aren't... So we were on a phone call with these guys yeah. about an Alliance release. Oh, bro, oh, that'd be awesome. Yeah, this is a beautiful whiskey. Yeah, and they're into it. Um, but good night. It's just good whiskey. Mm -hmm. and, and remember, most of my favorite distillers in the U.S. are ones doing malt things. Yeah. Because I prefer malt. But... 
these guys are relentlessly putting out rye and bourbon that I actually really like. This is, is this a pot? Do you gotta be doing pot still? Are they doing pot still? The, 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 the amount of flavor coming out of this nose. It's a big. I don't actually well, know, but good night. I'm trying to pick that bourbon. I'm trying to pick apart. That is wood oil and wood varnish mixed with brown sugar and mixed with. There's a thread of a, there's a fruity type of content, like piece of the layer in here. Yeah, but what kind of fruit? You're I totally know. right. You're totally right. right. It's a dessert thing, though. It's not fresh fruit. Maybe it's like a reduction. It could be. It has that density. Yeah. That high proof is just holding on to such astounding flavors. I get like a dark chocolate. On you know taste. what it is? It's you know what uh, you ever had those like a fruit f or like, like a cherry filled, filled <gasps> dark chocolate yeah. cordial type things. Yeah, cherry filled dark dark chocolate. Ooh. Oh, good night. That's good. Oh, and, oh. Then it, and then it finishes with a vanilla. I am not going to mix glassware on these because they're just too interesting. It finishes with a vanilla. Okay, set that and keep track of it because I'm going to skip this one and go straight to. This is my, my favorite one so far was their sherry cask. Yeah. This is one specifically selected by the dude, Carl T. Hundreds of years old. Huber. Hundreds of years old. Huber. Is it Huber? I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's proofed down, but it was uh, bourbon finished in sherry cask. I'm getting a... Uh like an herbal tea quality in here. Sweetness, a sweet tea. Yeah, but it's- Like it's, you've made a, a sweet tea out of an herbal tea. Yeah, it's, it's like when you go to the iced tea fountain and they've got normal black tea and then they got like the rainforest herbal tea. Yeah. Anybody remember the rainforest black tea from Barnes and Noble back no, in the 90s? No, but I'll tell you right now, the best, the best uh, basically was called like a big um, franchise fast food joint type of tea. Yeah. You're not going to believe it. In a million years, you're not going to guess. Panda Express. What? Panda Express. No. The pan, like the panda tea, whatever yeah, they yeah. got there. Amazing. It's beautiful. Really? I love it. <laughs> it's great. I love it. It's the best. <laughs> when you get to the high-pitched registers, <laughs> I love it. That's how you know it's good. That was really great. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have your head shake while you're doing it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, and they have these giant cups. <laughs> Like yeah, they do. They do like the, oh yeah, they <laughs> don't even fit in a car cup holder. It's like you can't. Be, That's a two-handed deal, yeah, baby. If you're doing it with one hand. It's kind of sketchy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So that is not. That is not the one I'm looking for. That is. It's okay. It's a little thin. It's and it's a little drier. Yeah, it's drier it's and more thin, more. and the sherry cask isn't really coming through. And it's got more of the oakiness. I'm looking for when I hear sherry cask. I'm. I'm I'm prepared. I'm looking for the dark fruit. Yeah, I want like what kind of presentation of the dark fruit are you throwing at me? I'm not getting the dark fruit out of that. I don't know where it went, but we have the starlight cherry. I don't know if we put it on the shelf if it got added in already. But it's much better than that. This is okay. What's the proof on it? 90. 90. Yeah, oh, they just proved it, it down feels below. a little hotter than 90. Mm. I think it's the tannin. I think the up. tannin bite is is there replacing the alcohol there you go. bite. The tannin sugar. Okay, now this is their port barrel okay. bourbon. Now port can do it's it's got enough girth to do some. Now damage. the question is, tawny or ruby? It looks like tawny, but ninety eight proof this time. At least we're getting a little higher. Oh, there we go. There's a difference. Oh, I'm not getting the almond note, so. But I am getting like the the darker, thicker, like fruity. If, if there was a dark fruit oiliness, mm -hmm. no, I think that's tawny port um, because it's got that like um, uh, what's the uh, what's the little candy that comes in the foil and it's got the nuts on the outside and then toffee and chocolate almond roca. It's got this almond roca note, and almond roca is my favorite candy. I don't think I've ever had an almond rope. No, no, you can only buy them in like the bin, like this big at Costco around Christmas. <laughs> no, that's not true. You can get them anywhere. But almond roca is I, my favorite little one bite hard candy, mm -hmm. period. And it's got that, I always get a lot of that almondy toffee note in tawny port. I don't know. I'm looking for the toffee. I can't find the toffee. Mm. I find a really nice sweetened oakiness that doesn't get too tanniny. Yeah. Panic, These are good. Panic. These are not as good as what we've tried from them in the past. 
I don't know why. Well, but this. That. That's exceptional. Magnificent. Beautiful. These finishes, I think they just... Look, 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 look. And, yeah, and yeah, I'm, I'm holding them to a really high hold standard. On, hold on, you, you need to stop running your damn mouth. Where is this whiskey that we had in the past? Well, so it's, uh, that's what, I'm not sure if it got, I'm not sure if it got inventoried or not. Did, look at me, look at me in the eyes. What's the top of that? Look at me look in the like? eyes. Did you, no, my eyes. Oh. Did you steal this? No, no, they Did gave you, me my own bottle. Do, 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 do. No, don't walk away. Don't walk away. Uh, don't, don't, you look at me when I'm talking don't, to you. Don't break eye contact. You look don't at break me. eye contact. You broke eye contact. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. He's not looking at me right now. He's not looking at me right now. Look, Stop. turn, turn, turn around. In the eyes. Turn around. In the eyes. I can't try to find you a fancy whiskey. Face. Right here. My face. My face. Look, 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 look. My face. Uh, <laughs> did you take it home? I was too busy not looking at your face because I was looking for this bottle. I told him where it was. Goober. <laughs> the 100 proof bottled in bond sherry cask. So this is what you did. This is what I, you emptied this bottle, you took the whiskey home, and then you put in some random stuff. Yeah, probably bullet. <laughs> it's very hard to find. Yeah, it's, so it's super rare. Allocated and everything. Come on, oh, this. What's going this. on? What's going on here? Come what did, on. What did you do here? The bottle that's, of bond, the thing. That's whiskey of the year the right, bourbon, right finished there. Finished in sherry barrels. Yeah, for a bourbon category. Come so, on! Hold on. Woody, hold on. hold on. Almost campfire char. This is what's happening. There is an ocean of bitches, and this is the son of all of the bitches. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. It's so good. It's charred smoke. There's the charred smoke. Wood That's, smoke and sherry cask. That's the different. That's the difference maker here. These are all thin tannins. They don't get all the way to smoky cask. This gets to, oh, selected by Big Red Liquors. Yeah. Big Red Liquors, whoever yeah. the hell you are. Well done, you. Damn, y'all. Oh. Come on, that's good. Yeah. Okay. You see why I'm a little disappointed by these two? Because mm. I think if I had started in these, I would have thought, hey, Kraft, good job. Mm -hmm. But coming off of this. Yeah. This. My God. Very good job for craft, quite frankly. Yeah. Very good job. Uh, but based on the bar that was established with yeah. this son of all of the bitches. Yeah. And this, damn good. Oh, this one, I really like this. Right? It doesn't have the smoke char nope. elements. It's mint, but you didn't know you were missing it until you tried this. I didn't. I had to get reminded. Yeah. And it was fun. Yes. Okay. Great. Now we're going to move to their straight right. Okay. Cask strength. I'm going to put this right here so people can see what we're freaking out about. I have not tried their rye. I have a lot of high hopes oh, for this. Oh, rye. We're doing I have a lot of high okay. hopes. Okay. okay. Well. Because this is cask strength. Right. Straight rye. Right. Limited right. release. This one is. That, that smoke clings a little bit. Are you ready? It does, it does clink. All right. They definitely, they, you know what? The same way that Balconis has a wheelhouse. Oh yeah. Where things, you, whatever they're making, whatever category, you tell there's us a shared element, a shared thread throughout. Yeah. This, there's a shared thread I, throughout all I these. call it a house style. Oh, okay. Right, yeah. I got the same thing in coffee. It used to be when I was working in coffee, yeah. you could tell the house style roaster, mm -hmm. right? Um, from big brands all the way down to the craft guys, uh, you know, you're in your, um, anyway. All right. Uh, so the one that we're trying. Like Intelligentsia, you have a house style. We'll put this. Starbucks has a house style. The one that uh, we're trying. Javalia yeah. has a house style. There we go. That's what we're drinking right now, the rye. What's the proof? Yeah, is? Hoover and Starlight has a house style. It's, it's high. This is a 98.6 proof. So 49.3% ABV. Yeah, it's crawling in on 100 proof. High enough to hold the flavors. And it's not dominating on the green or the, it's it's dominating on the drier baking spices. And it's like the rice spice. It's kind of like a matured rice spice. Like when you get too close to cinnamon and it gets sharp instead of nice smelling. A little bit. Ooh. Oh, there's a, there's a dense, like clinging honey note. I get. Threading it all together. I get a, a concentrated black licorice mixed with the herbal rice spiciness. Black licorice, the black licorice, which is- I don't like black licorice, but I'm not finding black licorice. No, I'm finding black licorice, go back. Well, on the, on the palate or the nose? On the palate. Okay. It's been so long since I've had black licorice, I don't have a fair I comparison. I got some in my office. Uh, Sir Long Juice sent the black licorice mm. for you to enjoy. Oh, now it's fading. Now I'm getting 
like a wood oil. Yeah, I'm leaning more towards the wood oil, the honey, and the baking spices. But that's mm -hmm. damn good. I'm gonna tell you how to find it. Because I can't talk whenever I'm doing the thing. Oh. Right? So okay. what you do, you put it in your mouth, you know, go like this. You make kissy faces? Yeah, and then with your tongue, mm -hmm. you, just, you, just, you just do like... Chaos, just pure chaos? All over the place. <laughs> like, like if this was your tongue, right? This is your tongue. Yeah, start on East. Yeah, totally. Oh, that burns. <laughs> that's not that's not fun. That's how you find the black licorice. Dude, this is um this is good. I like it. Yeah. I like it too. I like it because the licorice isn't a heavy handed licorice. Because mm -hmm. you get like some black licorice, it's like wow, that's you get you get a rye and you'll say that black licorice is really just concentrated, over the top, dominant. But this, it shares That's the burning. space with some like some wood oils, yeah. some spiciness, some herbal. Can I tell you, I currently have the taste in my mouth of after you've eaten a hard candy. You know how after you like suck on a hard candy for a while and then it goes away, yeah. but then for a good 30 minutes afterwards, you have the aftertaste of that hard candy in your mouth? Yeah, kind of like that, that sugary film. film clean. That's what I feel like yeah. right now. Okay. And a little burny. My tongue's a little numb. That's pretty damn good. I'm going to go back to that sherry cask. Big red liquor version. Oh, the nose. Smoke, campfire, camping, sherry cask, bourbon. Oh, there it is. Sweet Lord. That's good. Oh, I <laughs> want your goat sound. <laughs> it was internal. <laughs> it's internal. <laughs> that was just for me. All right, dry, dry week starts at, in two hours from now. Really? Yeah. Okay. Hey, it's. Dry, okay. You know, <laughs> we're, we're all hoarding all these glasses. Sorry, we've got two hours to finish Stop these. Stop drinking. Yeah. <laughs> all right, dry week is the quarterly challenge is upon us. This is the optional mm -hmm. dry week for everybody that wants to join Daniel and myself in a week of not drinking. And uh, part of the practical reason is to just reset the palate. Yes. Also, as an intentional check-in, an intentional break, just to make sure that there's no substance dependency issues that are creeping yep. up on us. Yep. And uh, at the end on uh, a week from now, which is going to be the 20th, yep. so this is the 13th, uh, noon, it'll be back on. And then after that, if you've completed the challenge, you'll, there'll be a link for you to put your name in as one of the whiskey challengers for this uh, round of dry week. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. No. Here's <laughs> fighting, stealing, and drink. If you fight, may fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal your life. And party. if you drink, may you drink with us. Uh, 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 uh. The bottle Lord. The bottle Work it. Work it. Shake that hobbity little ass. It's Trey Coots. The bottle Lord.